This is a demonstration of O2 being used to glue together a number of components to build an interactive music system. At the top of the screen, I'm running SoundCool, which is a modular uh, uh, synthesis system. I have a sample player with, with some samples. It's running through a feedback delay unit and from there to speaker. So it's very simple. And my goal is to control that uh, many parameters interactively using this uh, uh, ESP32 based controller with a couple of, well, a gyros and accelerometer uh, module. And uh, we'll, we'll start that up in just a moment. Um, the other thing I need to do is uh, run a graphical interface in this uh, browser window in order to adjust the mappings uh, that are being made by a program running in the terminal here based on SoundCool. So I'm going to start the program up and uh, as soon as SoundCool, uh, sorry, as soon as O2 is running there, we have a web server so I can go over to the browser and start up this interface that I've written. I'm going to adjust some mapping parameters and you can see uh, changes showing up here just to confirm that it's connected and working. And what this does is it, it says map the range in blue into the range in yellow. And so I have a, a few things I want to set up here, uh, at least approximately, to get going. And finally, I'm ready to start the microcontroller. So I'm going to power up and you can see this thing in action. It's going to, uh, first of all, connect to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, then use Bonjour to discover uh, O2 and make a connection and start sending accelerometer data. So it's already, it's already ready and running. Uh, the way it's set up is roll triggers two sounds and pitch triggers some sounds and, and general motion through RMS controls the uh, feedback. If I want to make things less sensitive, <laughs> I, can, I can go over here, uh, interactively adjust uh, some parameters that should make the roll it should make triggering a little less responsive. So thanks for watching. You can find out more about O2 here.